We're going to be working on our ankle waist attacks now. Ankle waist is a solid position. Turn that way, please. There we go. So uh, ankle waist, pad block, oki, whatever you want to call it. Here's where I am. Boom, just sitting back on his heel. Come back a little bit. Okay? Our primary attacks, we're going to be working off that extended spine principle. I'm trying to bend his neck as far in this way as possible. If you see his, his back starts so to look like a bow and arrow. First thing we're going to do is three-quarter Nelson. Now, a lot of people, the problem that they have with the three-quarter Nelson is their attack for it. They just come underneath and reach for it. Now, if this man stays in good position, in good posture, his head's up, I'm never going to be able to get in here. And by the time I even come close, he's going to be way out. So a setup for it, we're going to use that extended spine principle. I'm going to reach over, and with, my, with the back of my tricep, I'm going to pretty much elbow him in the ear. Boom. Catching his head. Now, this hand comes to chin. If you'll notice, my forearm is right like along his where um, his sideburns would be. Once I'm here, I squeeze it in tightly. Go ahead, Jeremy, try to get out. You should be able to hold it very, very controlled here. If he wants to get out, what he'll do is he'll start turning in towards me. That's going to set up a cradle for me. Okay? So, this is the most important part of the move. If you don't have this here, you don't have anything. So this is the primary focus. We're taking this elbow and we're pushing it towards our own belly button. Once I'm here like this and I have him secured, this hand comes in all the way deep, reaching for the back of his neck. Notice I never take the pressure off here. This is the big mistake everyone makes. They go do this and they go like that and straighten his neck. Keep it extended. Once I have this, this hand comes deep. Now, I'm going to let go of this hand, but notice I still keep it extended. His neck's not able to straighten yet. Don't come here. Let go with this hand, lock up our grip, top hand, palm down, wrestler's grip. Once from here, I'm going to move to position. See that again? I'm here, move to position. And now I have in a position where I can just crank him over the top. What I'm going to look to do is drive his nose into his stomach, put hard pressure over here, flip him right over the top. Once I have him over, lock up your figure four right here. See the legs figure four? Boom, that's it. Done. This is uh, one of the most brutal moves that I do on top. It really hurts. You make the guy like, almost like bite his own teeth. It feels like you're going to break your teeth. It also applies somewhat of a choke. So again, here we are. I have an ankle lace. Elbow in the ear aggressively. Attack. Snatch it in. Holding it tight. Reach deep. Lock up our grip. Keeping the neck extended. Finally, when we move, he straightens his neck out. But now I've got him in my pocket. Once I'm here, crank him down hard. Take him straight over the top. Lock up my figure four. Neck all right? Okay. Show it from a different angle. Face straight. Here I am. Crank, crank, crank. Boom. Finish it. The most important part of this move is the initial way that I grab his head. Don't reach over and try to pull it back. It's not going to work. Got my ankle lace. I'm literally going to use the back of my tricep and I kind of elbow him in the ear with it. Boom. Snatch it. From here, bring it in front. This is the most important part of the move. It's what everyone gets wrong. Next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to move into cradles. Uh, our overhead cradle. Same exact setup. Right away. Boom. Snatch it. Here we are. Now, come over here with the camera so you can see this. His leg right here. We're going to manipulate this knee. So not only am I going to try to bring his head to his knee, but I'm going to, by pulling on this ankle, bring his knee to his head. See what it does to his leg? So watch, without me being on top of him. What I'm pretty much doing to his leg is I'm taking it and I'm pulling it this way. So what's he going to do? Especially since this, he's going to start straightening his leg out. Boom. It brings everything up and together. Okay, so again. So here I am. Same initial setup. I'm being, I'm being nice to my partner here because I'm not trying to hurt him. But normally I'm very aggressive when I slam this on. Boom, slammed it on. Locked it in. Start bringing his head and his knee together. Everything's together. Once everything's locked up, this hand comes deep underneath. Grab my own wrist. Now, head right in his side. I break him flat. Here's where we are. Now he's going to be flattening out hard on me. All right? So what I'm going to do here, a lot of times when I see guys try to run people over from the cradle situation, uh, they're just they're just like driving really hard. The idea is to explosively run towards his head. So that means you can have no pressure and all of a sudden, boom, pressure. If you're pressuring and then he's fighting, you're going to have to deal with his resistance. 
But if you just explode over his initial resistance, all you have to do is crack him a little bit, and then you'll take him all the way through. So watch again. Here we are. Boom, I came over the top. I curled it up, I'm holding it tight. Bring his knee and his head towards each other, lock it up. Take him down to his hip. From here, he's going to fight me. All I'm going to do with my head inside is explode towards his head. Boom. I'm up on it. Here's my finish. Right here. Go ahead, fight him from back. Fight real. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is our most basic fin from there. That's the one that'll work every time. Now we're gonna show our two other finishes. Each is tighter, but each is more difficult to get to. We're just gonna start down from the cradle now, so we don't waste time, but now. So I've already locked up the cradle. First move that we're gonna do is called, excuse me, the second finish that we're gonna do is called the half moon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this leg up, and I'm gonna step through and get a toe. So, uh, Come around like from this side so you can see. It. Okay, so here I am heading inside. I lift up, I step through. Now, as I drive him over, I'm going to fall off the top of his head. I drive him over, I fall off the top of his head, and I scoop this leg. See how this leg scoop this one? Once I'm here, I lock up my figure four. Go ahead and get out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So again, lift up my cradle. Here I am. Step, lift in, pull it off the top. Lock up my figure four. You guys can just see what a figure four looks like. See, it looks like the number four. Okay. Um, and our last finish, this is called our superstar finish. This is the tightest one of all three. It's the most difficult to get to. So here it is. I'm going to do it off the ankle lace again. Uh, actually, I'll do it without the ankle lace first. I'll give you the show twice. Fly now. Excuse me, cradle. Alright. I have the cradle. I step over the leg that I have. Then I step over it again. It, I slide it right up to my hip. Boom. Now, same type of explosive pressure that I used on the first time. I'm just going to explode and run towards his head. Boom. 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 Wait, I'm going to get out. Very tight. Uh, one more time. I'm going to show you this time off the ankle You can see I've already stepped over one time since I had the ankle You'll see what I mean in a moment. Here we are. I have an ankle lace. Boom. Attack. Squeezing it tight. Uh, so manipulate. Get my cradle. Notice I'm already over once. So I just come over the second time. Boom. Got it. Punch the head. Go get out. Okay, uh, last thing that's helpful to know from the cradle situation, sometimes the guy will sit out on you uh, before you can actually get him into the cradle. So here we are. So, uh, move up that Good. So sometimes, here I am, I've got my cradle locked up, and lock it up. Boom, and he starts sitting out of the way. Actually, uh, yeah, go sit out the way you're sitting. So he starts sitting out here, and here's where I am. I have to like kind of run around that way, but he's got his head up. What I can do is keeping my head right there in the side where it is, I can just roll across my neck, like in a back ridge across my head. Over the top, right on top. One more time. Turn and face that way. Here I am, I got locked up, he starts sitting out. He starts sitting out. Right, it's my bed. Okay, that ends cradles uh, over ankle lace. Now we're going to use our ankle lace to uh, throw a leg. Um, face like this angle right here. Perfect. Okay, so this is a really good leg entry setup to get a leg in. We'll go over legs next. I got an ankle lace. I'm just going to drape my arms. They're just hanging right here. This leg's going to plant here. This heel is going to stay tight to my butt. I'm going to lift this leg up in the air as I drive forward. Yeah, hold his leg up in the air, try to bring your leg down right now. Got it up in the air. What I'm going to do is as I have it up in the air, I'm going to hop in and lock up my figure four around the leg. So here we are. Hop in, hop in, boom, figure four. If I can bring him down to his hip, this is where I'd rather stay. But even if he stays in a strong base, at least be in with a nice leg ride. Again. Arms draping. Hold it, hold it, hop in. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's talk.